so serious. Our passenger reveals shocking secrets about Bori and what the bandits told him about him when he met them. Obas Enjoy is a respected leader. He's a respected man when it comes to meeting with the criminals. You know, criminals know who their leader and their boss is. So when they see their leader, they pay perfect allegiance, unending allegiance and respect to their leader. They know who Abbas Enjoy is and what he is capable of. That is why when they saw him, immediately they paid attention and told him everything that he needs to know about the man Gwari and who he is and what he is and the plans he has for Nigeria. Now in this episode, Obasanjo has decided to reveal it to the public. You know Obasanjo now. He doesn't keep secrets to himself. He doesn't. He blows it off. He blows it off. He blows it out exactly the way it feels it should be blown out. Will I tell you that I'm not happy with uh, with what has just been revealed? I'm a liar. I am 100% happy. That is what should be revealed. So that everyone will know who truly this man called Barry truly is and his true plans for Nigeria. You understand? And who to be trusted, who not to be trusted, and why he should be trusted. This very content will convince you and will enlighten you and broaden your horizon on who truly the man you call your president truly is. Do you understand? All right. Let's, without time wasting, let's quickly look into the content. Former President Ulushegun Obasanjo has narrated his encounter and the encounter he had with the bandits. The former president had met with members of the sect and some family members of Muhammad Yusuf, the founder of the group. Upon his arrival at the Meduguri airport, Obasanjo was received by the then deputy governor. The meeting, which held at Yusuf's family member at railway quarters, the demolished headquarters of the sect, lasted about 90 minutes. Speaking at the meeting, a passenger had said, This is a personal initiative. I urge you to forgive and forget the past. I plead with you. Give me the chance to be dear between the family and government. In response, Baba Kura Fugu, Yusuf's brother-in-law, whose father was executed in 2009, had said, Since 2009, this is the first time any high-profile figure will, will be commiserating with the family. We are happy with this visit. About 30 to 40 percent of our members are scattered in neighboring countries of Chad, Niger, and Cameroon. Sadly, Fugu was gone down 24 hours after our passengers' visit. Speaking about Buari, he said that President Mo Buari, though, has a good plan. For Nigeria, but 
that plan can never be achieved. He said, he made a promise to us. He agreed with us. We concord with him. He gave us his words. We gave him our words. We played our own role, but he never played his own role. So why won't we disturb his administration? Nigerians will forget and must forget about having a peaceful Nigeria because the president has really tampered with our future. Look at us. We can no longer come out to the public. We have been tagged a bandit. No one can set eyes on us, on our, on our children. You see that. So that is why we take every little opportunity we have to take life and demand for what we want and get it by force. And that is what we'll continue to do until the right thing is done. Can I see? See, let me tell you something, my dear listeners. No leader, both present and past, that will say he or she doesn't know the hideout of this bandit. None of them. For you to know the level at which this country is so corrupt, none of them will say they don't know the hideout of these criminals. They will never deny it. You see that? They know. They are just keeping them and using them to extort from us. So people like Opaso and Joe actually know the hideout of these idiots and refuse to reveal it to the soldiers so that they can wipe them off. And they keep promising us unnecessary promises. Making us to build faith and confidence in them. Like lie people. You see? You see that? That is why they die painful death. That's why they die a painful death. And when they kill our, our people, they will pretend to, to mourn and to be sorry. Whereas they know the idiots that are doing this nonsense. Abi? Uh huh. So, my dear listeners, it's so painful that we have people who could have been of help, but they are just pretending. Now, look at it. Can I see? It is well. It is well. Alright, let me start by hearing from you to know what your own thoughts, opinion, ideas on this very broadcast may be. Don't forget, your comments still are very, very of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.